Let's talk about the sweep feature. So in this model, I have a cylinder that's going to be a coffee cup, right? This is a, a common example of where we would use a sweep. What I want is a handle for this coffee cup, right? The way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna get reference geometry. I'm gonna get a plane. I'll make it tangent to the cylinder. I need one more thing to lock it in. I'll choose the front plane select it so this reference plane is tangent to the cylinder and it's perpendicular to that front plane okay press ok i'm good to go so this plane is going to be where i sketch the profile for my sweep for the coffee cup handle okay so i'm going to go ahead and do that i'll go to sketch since i already have plane selected when i go to sketch it's going to sketch on this plane, right? So for right now, I want a round handle for my coffee cup. I'll draw a circle. I'll go ahead and dimension it from the bottom here. I'll say half an inch. I'll give the handle, let's say, three-eighths of an inch, right? And then the last piece, I'll make this a vertical relation to that origin so let me get normal to it first so i can select that origin select this and vertical All right so now i want to exit the sketch now this is the profile i want the path okay so what law what sweep is going to do is tell a profile to go through a path and fill it in with the solid and you'll see in just a second I want a plane that's perpendicular to plane 2. So I can come over here, just visually see the front plane that's going to fit that bill. So I'm going to sketch on that front plane. Right? Front. I'm going to use a center point arc. I'll make sure it touches the center of my profile. Right? And all the way back up. So now I'm going to go in and adjust this out a little bit. I want this to be coincident with uh, the edge of the cylinder here. So I see my little coincident here, here, and I'll make this coincident with the plane. Okay, so this thing's almost completely locked in. It just needs a smart dimension, and I'll say 1.5 for now. Looks good. Okay. So this is a path that this profile is going to follow when we sweep, right? So I'll go to Features, Swept Paw Space. It wants two pieces of information, okay? So this little guy right here wants the profile. This one right here, it wants the path. You want to pay attention to this because if you already had one of them selected, SolidWorks will go ahead and guess for you, okay? Which is kind of handy. So I'm just going to select that profile, and it's going to give me a preview. The only problem we have now, if I zoom in, well, let me just complete this. If I zoom way, way in, there's going to be a gap, right? Because this plane is tangent. right i got a little gap right here there's a way we can get rid of that within the feature i go to align with end faces and it's going to fill that in right 